Hi, this is Eric with Motion Workshop. In this tutorial, we'll be loading a previously recorded mocap take using the Shadow Motion Capture System into Autodesk Maya to retarget the character onto a different custom character. To start out, let's open up Autodesk Maya. And here you'll see we already have a scene with a custom character in it. This is the Sintel character that was created by the a uh, team of artists, uh, part of the Blender Foundation, for a short film they made, I believe, back in 2010. Now, I've already mapped the various joints onto a human IK skeleton definition, which you can see over here in the skeleton panel, the, sorry, the human IK panel. And if I click on the various body segments here, you can see that they're already mapped onto the uh, joints in our model. The check mark here shows that we have uh, created a full mapping and this character is ready for retargeting. So next let's load up our animation take from the shadow mocap system. Here we have just a short animation take. We can drag it into the Maya editor. And I'll zoom out and just scrub through. You can see we've got uh, some good animation clips that um, we can now apply to our new character. If we go back to the human IK panel over here, you can see there's another character now named Shadow Character. And this character is the skeleton definition of our mocap take that we just imported from the FBX file. Uh, the cool part is all of your auto exported FBX files from the Shadow mocap system will already have the Shadow Character defined. So it's very easy to take the animation and apply it to your own custom character, like we have here. So the process to retarget to the new character is very easy once you have the two definitions. So the first we want to select the Sintel character as the target, and then from source we just drop down and, and select the shadow character. Now you'll see that she snapped over onto the shadow character's animation and you can see that it is a pretty good retargeting, even though they're of two different uh, sizes in terms of their skeleton, height, and stature. To see this a little bit better, we could go up to the character reference and move it over a little bit. Yeah, so you can see this is the, it's pretty quick and easy process to retarget shadow motion capture animation onto your own custom character inside of Autodesk Maya. Thanks for watching.